Hello and welcome to another episode of Tips and Ideas with Ed Wallace of Midwest Landscaping, www.uniqueenvironments.com. We're back here in Roland Heights, California, doing our subsurface drip installation. And I just want to show you the difference in using the uh, Rainbird header versus um, <clears throat> the PVC header that I installed. And the spacing that we used here was 12 inches off center rather than uh, doing 18. We see it over here is 18 inches off center and this is basically 12 inches off center. So as you can see, by running that header, the three quarter inch header, the uh, Rainbird header here, we're able to get better distribution, more consistent distribution than what I had over here is what I did with the uh, PVC lock and just PVC fittings. So what we did is just use the PVC lock and came in and uh, basically uh, added a coupler in here so that I could be able to salvage the PVC. It's a couple areas I had to cap off and uh, we ran the drip emitters all two inches away from the edge, two to four inches away from the edge of the header, the, the bender board here. So we get a wetting pattern up against the, uh, the edge. But if you notice here, we have a much better wetting pattern. And this is only after like about 10 to 15 minutes of, uh, of watering, having the system on. Uh, yesterday, I had the system on for at least an hour and the distribution was uh, good at the beginning of the of the run, which is right about up in here. We had really good distribution up in here. Um, then as we got further on this other end, we had very lax distribution. So, and that was also because I ran a, a half an inch header at the other end instead of a three quarter inch, like what I ran down here. So we're gonna retrofit this uh, header out here, just like what we did over on this side by putting in the PVC lock couplers and reducing the uh, distance between the drip lines from 18 inches to 12, because we'll get a much better wetting pattern and also a, a faster application rate from the standpoint of having to run the system less amount of times to get the amount of water we need to adequately water the turf. One of the advantages of this particular type of uh, drip tubing is the copper shield technology, which is inside of the, the tubing, which allows water to come out, but the roots not to come in. There's electronics, electrolysis type of action that happens within the emitter. So a piece of copper in that emitter, and what happens is it prevents the roots from growing inside uh, the emitter head outlet. And that's a problem with some drip lines where the actual roots grow inside the emitter because it's water there. And so what some companies do is they impregnate the piping with um, different types of herbicide to kill the root. But uh, with the Rainbird Copper Shield technology, they don't have to use, they don't use that type of, <coughs> excuse me, herbicide in order to eradicate the roots. So we'll retrofit this side up here 12 inches off center. Lesson learned from the standpoint of uh, what type of headers I have to use. Even though I've been in business now for quite a while, still make mistakes, but it's better we make the mistakes while everything is still open rather than when the turf is down and trying to figure out what happened. This is Ed Wallace, tips and ideas. Stay tuned and watch the whole process. If you got questions or you got comments, please tap below and leave your comments and suggestions for future videos. Sorry I'm not able to show you my face on this thing, but um, on this video, but sooner or later I'll figure that technology out. I don't have a person here to just to video me. So that's why you see a lot of videos where it's just a voice and uh, the pictures of what's happening. But as I go along, I'm quite sure I get better with these videos. So you'll enjoy them a lot better. If you got questions, please uh, leave the comments in the comment section or give me an email at my website, uniqueenvironments.com, www.uniqueenvironments.com.